Hey, monkey business fans. <clears throat> Springtime. I've been laid off for a couple of weeks. We did a little camping last weekend. Had a good time. Came up with some ideas of things I'd like to have at the campsite. <clears throat> We're going to go camping again this weekend. Uh, before I happen to get called back to work. Uh, I'm already a dirty mess because I've been working all day, but I'm getting ready to build something. Thought I'd show it to you. Maybe somebody would find it neat and want to build one for themselves. Uh, I'm going to build a uh, grate to put over the campfire. And uh, let me flip the camera around here and show you. I dug through a pile and found some graded uh, expanded metal there and uh, I had it in two pieces so uh, I welded a seam down the middle there already you can see where I ground it off there and uh, uh, I've got that all put back together <clears throat> these four pieces of angle iron right here are gonna be the framework to go around it <clears throat> that silver pole is an old weightlift uh, weightlifters pole for the uh, Put your barbells on and uh, I took that cut it in half because Lord knows I'm not uh, lifting any weights uh, and the little black tube there that that's going to slide down over the top of that get a bolt in it uh, and that's what's going to hold the grate where we want it uh, and then this piece of old jack handle there we're going to use that uh, as a slide hammer to be able to drive where this lip is on the pipe uh, or on that uh, solid bar you'll be able to drive that down in the ground uh, get it down in there nice and deep so uh, we'll get that all put together and show you how it finishes uh, I've also got material laying around for a rocket stove and uh, so this is uh, uh, what we've been camping in is my little teardrop that I built uh, a handful of years ago and uh, so there's no kitchen so we would camp out over the fire or cook out over the fire so we made a square out of angle iron put that mesh in the middle of it and uh, then put two bars underneath down at an angle and you'll see back here those come down here to the bottom of our tube and then we welded a nut there on the other side of the tube, put a little handle, uh, put a little handle there, and uh, and then made a piece of that solid bar from that uh, weightlifting setup. Using this piece of jack handle as a slide hammer to knock that down in the ground, and uh, this works nice. You can use it as a swivel. Uh, swivel it away from your fire and uh, loosen that, adjust the height and it works out well. Uh, we'll give it a coat of black paint uh, but you know the fire is probably going to burn that off first time around and uh, but it's nice and sturdy out here uh, when you push on it it doesn't uh, doesn't move around much uh, it did before we put the angle pieces going down there to the center, but uh, now your weenies and burgers aren't going to fall off, uh, roll off into the fire. So uh, if uh, if you uh, were worried too much about that, you could flip that angle over and uh, put it upwards. That would uh, fix anything from rolling off, but I think we're in a good spot. So. Hey, monkey business fans. Well, we got the uh, grate done yesterday for the uh, campfire and uh, got the uh, got it all painted up. Today we've been working on the rocket stove idea. If you don't know what a rocket stove is, you can use sticks and small firewood uh, to uh, feed it and it will uh, uh, put out enough heat for about one uh, pot to cook on and I've always wanted to make one and have one in my arsenal of camping tools and so uh, I'll flip around and show you what we're gonna do there so 
I got all the pieces cut. Uh, this is going to be the plate for underneath the uh, stand for it to stand on. Uh, this is going to be the chute that feeds the uh, uh, wood in. This uh, little piece over here is going to be for the air inlet and a place to uh, scoop out uh, your ashes. Uh, and then this is going to be the main body of the uh, of the stove. This opening here is where the wood will get fed in. This little spot down here is going to be the air opening. So we're going to take this take this 45 degree angle right there and that'll that'll go together about like that and then uh, this piece here we'll flip around there and go just like that on the bottom and uh, and then all that will stand up on that base and uh, uh, should work well. I uh, used uh, a couple of different plans that I sent, that I found online to find the way that I uh, wanted to make mine. You put a little grade of expanded metal right in there in, in the middle of that uh, to separate your air and that's my grate that I'm going to put there in the middle. Uh, I got to cut it to size yet. Everything else I've got uh, cut to fit. Um, and so we'll uh, get that piece of expanded metal in there and then we'll be ready to bolt it or weld it up. So we welded some uh, nuts on the bottom of the base plate for feet. And uh, we're going to flip that over now and uh, weld the rest of the uh, rocket stove to that base. We got the grate welded in here nice and uh, uh, it's a little bit airy. I, some designs they overlay two uh, pieces of uh, grate but I think that that one is heavy enough uh, uh, that I won't have to worry too much about uh, things falling, or you know, have it breaking and whatever. Some pieces might fall through uh, the grate there, but uh, uh, they'll just land down in there in that chute that uh, we're, we can clean it out for the air inlet. Uh, so that's all welded in, and we'll move on to the next pieces. Well, we got the uh, air entrance ash removal section uh, welded on there, and that looks good. It's not welded to the base yet. I'm just using that as a table to work off of. And uh, we'll uh, work on getting the chute welded on the other side now. The main body of our rocket stove is all put together. Now we've got to uh, go on top and make a place where we can uh, support the uh, pan or the skillet that we're going to put on top uh, to cook on. And uh, I haven't quite engineered that yet, so I wanted to get this part built and uh, then make some decisions about what I wanted to use uh, for the rest of it. So here we are at the campground with the uh, rocket stove. We got it all together. Uh, got a little bit of fuel in it and it's working well. It's a great fire to uh, cook on. We cooked some lunch on it earlier. We're getting ready to cook some dinner and uh, I hope you liked what we did. Uh, and uh, hope you like, subscribe, and share.